Today we're going to be messing with Electro Harmonics Lizard Queen Octave Fuzz. And to help us with this is our good friend Pat Romando, who's going to use his skills to go through this pedal, find out what's good about it and what's weird about it. And that's coming up next on Roy Studio Adventures. And now to give you all the technical details is Mr. Know-It-All, Gern Blaston. The EHX Lizard Queen Octave Fuzz is a nano-sized version of the vintage pedal design vision of Josh Scott of JHS Pedals and graphic designer Daniel Danger. Brought to life by the engineers at Electro Harmonix with all of the tones and vibes of the original circuit design. Housed in EHX's nano-sized chassis, the EHX Lizard Queen is a fixed-gain fuzz pedal that features volume, octave, and balance knobs. Volume controls the overall output volume level. The octave control adjusts the level of the octave up signal from zero to full octave chaos. Perfect for dialing in a crushing rhythm sound or a chimey, clanging lead sound. The balance knob sets the tone balance between the smoother shadow setting and the raspy, biting sun setting. 9V battery included 9V adapter optional. Price $125. I don't mean to be corny, but if you hit the like, smash the bell, and subscribe so you can see so you can see more video so you can you know watch videos of us you know after we make them hi pat welcome to roy studio adventures thank you so much happy to be here oh it's good to have you here pat what music is it you like to play uh, i mainly like to play blues and rock guitar but I, I enjoy playing all types of music who inspired you to get into music um I'd say at a young age mostly my father there was always musical instruments laying around the house, and uh, he showed me my first few guitar chords that got me going. What is your band called, and where are you playing next? Right now I'm playing in a Tragically Hip tribute called The Trip, at The Tragically Trip, and we'll be at Docks on Lundy's Lane, November 4th, 9 p.m. Love to see you come out. Do you have your own home studio? I've heard rumors. The rumors are true. I do have my own home studio and uh, we can facilitate full bands and full production, mixing and mastering. Maybe I can do a tour of your studio in the near future. That would be amazing. I'd love to show off some, some gear and uh, some tracks. So next we're gonna try out the, <laughs> the Lizard Queen. I love the long titles they give them. So we're gonna go through all the settings, uh, like try them out and then tell us what you think of the pedal as an application that you might use it for. Here's my clean tone. Right now I got the uh, the back two knobs off, which are balance and octave, when this, our volume's up a little bit. So when we engage it. So, okay, let's engage some octave. Let's crank balance all the way. Then. I'd like to take a moment to thank Central Music for loaning us the Lizard Queen for review. It adds some top end. Okay, let's crank this up with the balance. Whoa! It's on fire. So this is the my amp is dying setting. Okay, hey, wait, as you turn this volume up, it's now doing more weird things. There we go. Did you hear that, that harmonic octave take over my note or something? Yeah, my ears are bleeding. Oh. Well, that's unique. Like, what type of application would we put this pedal in, Roy? I don't know. Let me say this, though. The distortion without these by itself out of the box through a Boss Katana is actually quite pleasing to the ear. 
it's got like some crunch that we could it's a little bit hot but maybe i can dial it back a bit but if there's something there to that circuit it's warm yeah it's not a tube screamer it's not uh it's not like an electro harmonics it's actually it's closer to an electro harmonics metal muff than like a tube screamer that's pleasing Like, I would like this on my pedal board just to get to that sound very quickly. If you only can have one pedal, this is not the pedal for you. If you're looking for uh, some different colors on your pedal board or some go-tos, then uh, I think that's a great lead sound. Well, Pat, thanks for coming to the studio. we got to do this again real soon. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, Roy. This was awesome. Please remember to check out Roy Studio Adventures merch store. I'll leave a link in the description below. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did. That's it for this video. But always remember, go out and see a live band. Be good to each other. Share your knowledge. And until next time.